It is March 3rd, 2015. <laughs> I got rid of the darkness real fast. March the 3rd, 2016, I say. Who well, knows what I said originally? And a little slow starting off these shows. We can't bring in the laptop tonight for some reason. I, I just done an update just before I went live with live stream, and I was like, oh, Christ. We're about to go live, and you want me to do an update? Just wonder bars. But we are live streaming, and hi to everybody. I can see y'all, but I can't show you tonight. Hi, Elaine. Shani Ken. Uh, Curious Charms. Alex, Jake, oh, Pam, Oomph, Elaine, Julian, Aquarius, Mindy, Justin, Anthony. Okay, and so, like, you can't chat, people can't chat till the stream actually starts, for anybody who's not familiar. And it always takes us a couple of minutes to warm up to the stream. We got an incredible stream for everybody tonight. If you caught the preamble, that beautiful girl by Dana on YouTube, you could probably understand what I'm talking about. I'm just going to jump right into this. Uh, nuclear Trolls is the reason i done this one up. And what it is, is we're going to look at the official pictures. Everything we're going to show you is the official pictures of Unit 4. The very official pictures. And so, you can win a case of pop if you can find a fuel pool. <laughs> uh, but for the time being, we got a whole lot of these comparison pictures. And with the 5th anniversary and the extinction of the Pacific Ocean now completed and the Southern Hemisphere now being wiped out, I thought it appropriate that we come in and talk about Unit 4. And hopefully all this works out the way it's supposed to. Unit 4... It didn't give me another picture there. And that's not supposed to happen. It done that to me earlier than I too. Both computers were acting weird. We can't bring up uh, the laptop so like I would normally do. And bring it in as an extra camera. So I'm not sure what that's all about. And right now it's not going to let... It was letting me access it before. Let's try another one. There's other ways to do it. I can't bring up the laptop and I can't bring up the pictures. We are in a lot of trouble, right? So what you see there is a follow-up. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But let's try this and see if this one will work for us. And so this one's not going to work for us. Looks like I got hacked. Two computers. This one wouldn't even do high quality earlier tonight. Let's keep going. Well, that's pretty awkward. Maybe if I zoom out a bit. And so let's go another route on Unit 4. Because that's pretty weird. Unit 4. Now have a look at this building. And have a look at the Fool's Pool. Now how can you get that inside of this uh, destroyed building? Is anybody able to bring me any kind of anything to the table over this one. So you got a destroyed building, destroyed, completely destroyed all the way to the ground. But the media has told us this. Now the media told you that to distract you from the three full meltdowns, the three 100% meltdowns reactors. And I don't know what's going on. I've done all that work and I can't bring up Everything's working fine until I go live. So I guess the anniversary's coming up. They're hacking away at us. And if they hack this one, that's a stupid amount of money gone down the drain. And so this computer only gets used for live streams only. This software is very expensive. We'll go back to the dealership if we got to with that stuff. I'll hold them accountable one way or another. Well, okay, and so that was working. Just hang out for everybody. It's awkward, I know. But we're going to just try it and see if we can get that to switch gears and come back. Because we really want to tell that story. So the other ones are working fine. Okay. Okay, then in that case, maybe. 
Maybe we'll get lucky. Wasn't supposed. Everything should work just fine. It's kind of awkward. No. Okay, maybe we got it that time. Unit four official pictures. I guess not. None of these things are gonna work for me tonight. <laughs> That's the hit. That's the bloody head. I don't know what to say to that. That's like weirdo shit. You got a fuel pool inside of a building that don't exist. That probably got nothing to do with it. They're desperate to hide the death of the Pacific Ocean. Death of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, not cool. Well, let's talk about that then. So, I'll have to do an independent video and stick it out on Unit 4. I guess they're not going to let me do it tonight. We've never had an issue with the computer. We did do an update with live stream, but before I plugged into the internet, I was having problems with both computers. Can't bring in the extra com uh, laptop. It's weird stuff. That's the way it works. Uh, we're not doing the course um, for another couple of days. I'm going to do it at home. And um, it's just better to do it that way. As sea stars die, no worries about urchins. And so they they done 200 miles of the coastline, and they found the urchins were in uh, just a few of them to be found at the high tide, low tide zones. And so what we done, Dana and the Hounds of Fukushima, was we done 15,000 miles of the coastline. All those arrows are representations is to 260 days worth of work there. And we've done it uh, in this crowdfunded operation. And so normally that coastline, the entire coastline, everywhere you go, a low tide. Now, when I was there, this was a super low tide. When I was there, that, that was super low. Like, woo, that was so low. That was two-inch tide or four-inch tide or something. Now this is a pre-Fukushima shot you see up there. Now this is from the same spot as Louise Narles, and Louise Narles is um, right at the top of the page where the arrows are too. See the three arrows by themselves? Well, it's uh, just below the second arrow on the outside, and you see that group of arrows there. But regardless. It's an isolated spot in the middle of nowhere. It's very coveted. And it would normally, uh, there's no industry up there. There's a few thousand people live up there, mostly natives. And it, it's just a wonderful spot. It would normally look like that or that or this or like that or like this. Everywhere you go at low tide, it would look like that. Now, when I was there, it was a lower tide than what you're looking at now. It should look like that. Anywhere in British Columbia should sure like that, but these pictures are all from the same spot. And now it looks like this, and like that, and like this, and the whole uh, Louise Narrows looks like that. And this is a very spiritual place for the natives in British Columbia. No longer healthy, but the whole coastline is like this. Now the significance of that is there should be 5,600 species on that coastline. Like that. And let me find you some more vibrant types of life. Like that. You should, everywhere you go, you got to be careful where you're walking. You, you know, it's so easy to tread on animals. And these are often the same spot, but all of the coastline would look like that. But the before and after, these are the pictures we took on the Expedition for Life, 260 days. And Jan Brooks has put out Miss Milky Clown one has put out Lonnie's interview we done yesterday, and uh, that's a lot of work. It shows you the skill that lady has, and the patience, and the dedication and the fortitude to be able to put together a video like she done um, with just an audio, and it was a great audio. Um, I'm glad she done it, and so I went and listened to it. 
to see how I done, how it came out on the phone, criticize myself a lot, see what I got to change, learn, if I made any mistakes, and blah, blah, blah. And even when I was talking about drinking a glass of water with radiation, and Jan had snipped out a chunk where I'm drinking a glass of water. Very clever girl. Hugs for you, Jan. And that's Miss Melky the Clown one on YouTube. And she's a tireless, relentless activist who uh, got a head on her shoulder. And so the Charlottes would normally look like that. You know, and so, but this, these, um, these, giant sea plume uh, sea anemones are one of 78 species. They come in different colors and they, they're about three foot at maturity and you can get up to 500 in a square meter and then if you take one of those and chop it up into 50 pieces that'll be 50 more sea anemones. That'll be in different colors. Um, now there's 78 species of sea anemones and then the sea urchins are the most dominant that you would see up there. But now everything is naked, that whole coastline. Particularly, this is all Louise Narrows, but we got the documentation up at the nuclear proctologist. Not that I'll be able to bring that up tonight. This is heartbreaking. I got all that work done, and I can't access, I can't even, I just don't get it. I don't get it. But we can come up and try something else out of curiosity and see if it works. Like this was working before I went live stream, like when I'd done it all uh, last night. That was all like quick as quick as you can um, quick as you can click. And so there's the radiation. We're going to change the patterns, right? So look, they're changing. See that? Yeah, Dana got lightning all around him. That boy is lightning. That boy is lightning. He is lightning. Mr. Lightning. Have a carver cut out, Dana. You got something to say in the lightning, Mr. Dude? Now, by the way, I got no idea what I said. Hang on. I'm going to get my headphones in case I got to shut that off because I said something I shouldn't have. <laughs> Not that it's to be wrong. It's just be rude. Okay, curb or cut out, Dina. Don't you friggin' let me down, boo. Yeah, I can see the Tefco employee getting called into the boss's office and the boss saying, Hey, man, you got a promotion. We're shifting you down to Fukushima at the Achi plant. You gotta get a raise. You gotta get an automobile. And you can see the poor employee going, like, What to do, man? What to do, man? Come on, man. I don't, come on, man. You only sit people here to die, man. <laughs> You know, that's not true. They send in the homeless and the destitute and the immigrants who don't speak the language. You got anything else to... Oh, wait a second, hang on a second. Maybe I should do another little... Let's see if we can change this to something else. Got no idea what that's going to be like. Let's get some more feedback from that crazy whack job. Ooh, cardboard cutout, Dean. Can you imagine being a contractor and you got a call to come in and work on this <laughs> building? You want to redo the whole building? No. You can see him showing up there and he doesn't speak the language very well. And he's like, I don't know. I don't know if you can rebuild that, sir. But we give you lots of money. Billion dollar. Billion dollar. You get your own people. Yeah? You're like, yeah, but... Why me? <laughs> oh shit, is this Fukushima? Damn man, what did you got what did you put me here for? I would die, man, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I say I was winging these off while I was doing everything else. He looks kind of radical sitting there, curveboard could he do. But at the same time, you gotta think about how that coastline is right across from Japan. It takes 45 days for the radiation to get here. And now you go into those tide pools and you will starve to death. You, well, that bird that was over our head, probably looking at Zoe when we were ashore there. And, but there was nothing to eat here. This is super low tide, super low, super low. Look in the water where it's even lower than a super moon. Super moon. Super moon. Moon. Super moon. Hey, Dana, you want to come back and help me out here? 
Well, yeah. Yield at four. See, if your kid won't go to bed, you can say, I'll ship you down to unit four in Fukushima. <laughs> you can see the kid like now. <laughs> I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. No, I'm sleeping. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't blame you, little cardboard cutout Dino. <clears throat> Meanwhile, back on the beach where this bird will starve to death is there's no reason to go there no more no reason to go look at something and it's just no reason to go there there's nothing there that bird starved to death along with all of his now I got pictures of the birds will be shown during the 24 hour live stream of eagles that look really bad and seals and baby seals just you know, pictures of baby seals where I couldn't take another picture I was only a couple of feet away from the baby seal and the younger older one that was emaciated also with their fur missing and they were destroyed they didn't even try to run away it was I've never seen that but up here you get 75 of those leatherback starfish, 75 per square meter, not anymore, don't exist, it's never going to exist again, it's just like the snow in the mountains, that snow took 1,000 to 5,000 years to form and it'll take 5,000 years for it to form again after all the radiation is gone. And so tritium and cesium and iodine, strontium, these are tracers, tracers, and they know how to find them. And there's 2,000 that we know about declassified and 10,000 classified, but that's not counting what Japan created, that's not counting what Russia created or Israel or you know, Pakistan and India and Canada and everybody else. It's the traces you hear about, if you look back through all the studies, through Elsifer, Springer and Wiley, the three biggest publishers, they got 20,000 academic journals. You'll find that that's all they ever talk about is, uh, sometimes they talk about americium and neptunium. Uh, Dr. Raymond Gill, many studies that I've covered many times from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico. Now he used plutonium and americium on beagle dogs and beagle puppies for 35 years. Uh, and all the animals died in three to five years from vicious cancers, all of them. And we're talking about thousands and thousands, but he's just one of thousands and thousands and thousands of people doing studies with radiation on animals and killing them. They all die. Every animal dies. Vicious cancers. They know how to create it, but they don't know how to stop it. Man-made radiation has been studied more, and there's thousands and thousands of them, than natural, and there's 162 emitters. There's 5,500 or whatever elements, but there's 162 at what we consider emitters that are harmless, that are normal, that everything is made up of. I can see him out there now trying to get people at the airport. Come on back, man. We'll give you a raise. You only got to work outside the fence in Fukushima. Fukushima! 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 <laughs> I got to really learn to look at what I'm producing before I, produce, before I show it off to people. Because <laughs> you kind of get a little squirrely sometimes, dear Mr. D. But that's the way it is when you're trying to put together a show. And I had all that work done tonight, and it's not going to show up. And I don't think that that's right. That they got me censored. They've killed nine computers in a year and a half period. How many computers do you have die in a one and a half year? I got arrested when I come on shore after five expeditions. Think about that one. 
I've done five expeditions and, and I just showed you the documentation in, in this little dinky and I knew I'd come back every day and I went right through the winter five months without coming home I didn't come home t till the trip till I finally gave it up after five expeditions but that's when I scoured the entire coastline when I was satisfied that I left nothing uh, uh, worthy unturned that I had cruised through all the fjords and the inlets and the 26,000 islands doing bird species counts and we can bring up some of that hopefully we're going to bring those blocked on us tonight shocking and so missing species were the phytoplankton, the krill, the anchovies, they're gone, that's gone we won't see any more die-offs in the Pacific Canadian coastline because there's nothing left uh, the anchovies, the sardines, the squid, the herring, the salmon have all failed now three years hardcore we have no snow in the mountains of British Columbia anymore and we have no oxygen in the bases, the food, the oxygen, the carbon sequestering chains are all gone and that Chernobyl lasted 10 days now don't get me wrong if you were to expose like that sarcophagus they got over it that's not really stopping anything from escaping it's not uh, the building is full of big cracks and big holes and they're trying to put a new one over it right why well because this thing is extremely dangerous and why are they ignoring it? Why did Harvard and Yale and Berkeley and Stanford and Oxford and MIT and everybody else go to uh, Chernobyl, but yet none of them went to Fukushima? How come they didn't go to Fukushima? Why is it only the homeless and the destitute and the people who don't speak the language uh, in there? Why ain't Harvard and Yale and everybody else? You know, why does Seth Dorn, Seth Dorn, he says he's inside the building above him. See it all that around him? That's what he says it looks like on the inside. He says inside it looks like that to your left. Not, and I, but look at the real pictures on the right. This machine, this weaponized media, World Nuclear News, you should, you know, with a title like that, you would hope you could trust their, their story. Look at the picture they showed you, but look at the building that I put there. BBC done the same thing to you. Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant begins fuel rod removal, 18th of November. Keep an eye on that date with those headlines. This is May 2014, November 2013. So outrageous lies, they can't look at a picture knowing it detonated, knowing there's no way that can exist. TEPCO began critical work on loading Fukushima Daiichi. Unit 4 spent fuel pool. Think about this. Think about how to censor me in real time. TEPCO begins critical work on loading it. This is informable, mimicking, regurgitating, par not paraphrasing, but regurgitating what TEPCO had said. CBC showing you a beautiful symmetrical building but look at the real building to the right that I put there. I can't tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? Do you think there's something wrong in this equation, in this picture? If you do, you're a bad person and they're not lawyers. Uh, look at the RT pumped out a beautiful, incredibly shiny, beautiful, wonderful, and by the way, thank you Mr. Frill out there who works so hard and I don't really say hi to her ever I just remembered that time I better because if anybody deserves a big, big pat on the back it's Miss Frill Mary who's relentlessly working in the background for the better and intelligently dissecting narratives with eloquence and it's highly appreciated. Japan begins removal of fuel rods. What? Why did they lie? Why didn't they check? Why didn't they show us the comparison pictures like I'm doing? Why does nobody do that? This is TEPCO's official pictures. The official pictures. And see the little picture in the middle? The green one? 
But look at the pictures that I put there of the dead nations. Think about what they're saying to you. Think about the implications of what they're saying to you and what many people have come out and told you. And all the media is like I'm showing you with no counter arguments, with no counter arguments to any of these people. Look at the two buildings, look at the big lie and the pictures they showed everybody to put you into a dream state to cause you not to even consider the things I'm saying because they can't tell the truth. They're incapable of telling the truth. They don't, they don't have that. That is not part of what they do. Their, their job is to fabricate it. The decommissioning work taking in place Unit here. Four. In I cut that one off. Everybody knows it's Unit 4. I played the, the same video many times. Think about all these people that work at a nuclear power plant. Like 5,000 people. But what do they do when they have an accident? To push the burning fuel through uh, into the back of the reactor. But the heat had melted the cartridges, so they'd become stuck inside the core. They were forced to use scaffolding poles they'd found nearby to try and push the cartridges out. Radiation was so intense they could only work a few hours. That's the firefighters. firefighters. There's 5,000 people on the site. Uh, from the factory had turned up looking for volunteers. Uh, and they brought a bus and they decided the best way to get the volunteers was to go to the cinema and uh, and volunteer the back two rows uh, at the uh, at the show to go into the factory to uh, as it turned out to uh, help push the fuel rods out of the uh, out of the reactor. My goodness! So they kidnapped people to push the rods. They pushed the rods out of the reactor. They never went and got the 5,000 employees who works at the plant getting double top wages and every benefit on the planet. No. Because they might get cancer or die. They got to pay out the insurance. They went and kidnapped your friends and your families and your loved ones from the back two rows of a theater. Have you ever sat in the back two rows of a theater? Have your children, have your friends or your families or your loved ones ever sat in the two back rows of a theater. And rather than use the nuclear employees who bought into this and says it's harmless, it's like a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine for 70 years, mocking you, ridiculing you, treating you with disrespect and everybody around in order to keep their job because they couldn't get a job on a garbage truck, not that that's a bad job, it's just they couldn't get that job. They would apply for it, trust me. And I'm not saying it's a bad job, somebody has to do it. And they make decent money at it, and it's no worse than working in all kinds of other factories, trust me. So, how can you have that inside of that? How does that work? Who, who's, who woke up one morning and said, hey, let's go out and tell the population that inside of that is that. <laughs> inside of this is that. Wait a second. Hold everything. What are you talking about that you can have that inside of that? Well, they don't show you those two pictures. It's as simple as that. You know, we went out and got 9,000, went through 9,000 headlines for a year before we went on the ocean. We flushed this out really well before we went on the ocean. See what cardboard cutout Dina got left into him? The other four would kill you if you tried to run through the building and out the other <laughs> side. It'd kill you, drop you, and your nuclear waste till the end of time. <laughs> No open caskets for you. <laughs> no casket for you. Big lead one. You don't get to leave uh, that site. They kick them loose all the time. If anybody says got a nosebleed, or got this or got that, any kind of symptoms, kick them loose. Come pick your check up in a couple of weeks. Because <laughs> you ain't. You ain't making it. You're going around. You're homeless and destitute or an immigrant who don't speak the language. 
Everywhere you pee and poo, you're leaving dirty bombs. Till you dig your door. Have we got anything giggly left in that dinner? Chernobyl! Compared to Unit 4! Oh, I don't know. It's kind of like a pimple. <laughs> it's like... It's like a cigarette butt on the side of the road. Environmentally <laughs> compared to Fukushima. Fukushima's <laughs> killed the Pacific Ocean, for goodness right. sakes. Yeah. This is an extinction event. Dana gave it the program, but I'm sorry, man. Jesus, I can't get everything. You know, I'm blue, blue, blue. Can't even get my buffers to work. Can't get them to change. I had that wicked story to tell. And look, I get that nonsense every time. But I can get the other buffers to to work. I just can't get the ones with all the pictures of Unit Four. How interesting is that? Already sent me in real time? Well, I mean, you're talking about a multi trillion dollar a year business. You're talking about the military. You're talking about a million corporations. You're talking about the death of the Pacific Ocean and who done it and how they done it and how they tricked you and deceived you and how they just fell from grace and how even their own friends and families and loved ones won't trust them. And will you know, what are we going to do with these people? we got to hide them from the population because the population is going to want to string them up. We can't blame them. It's a genocide that they just carried out, right? Ecocide and a genocide. It's, it's, it's burning down to the ground is what they got done to us. And when the zombies... Come looking, I can assure you, the Amber Alert is not going to help them. There is no helping these critters. And if I bring up the laptop, I get a blank screen. Audio works there though. It's twisted. And there's no reason they hacked me tonight when I finally plugged in. I only plug into the internet just for a go live. I do everything else with my laptop. I only use this computer software setup because it's so freaking expensive for this one thing only, just to go live and then it gets unplugged from the internet. <coughs> it's so brutal that that's not working, but everything else is. And so what I had was all these double pictures. I can probably bring up a couple of them though. Whichever ones are, f are the thumbnail. Let's try that. See? But I can't bring up uh, the other nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight comparison pictures. Yeah. So that's not very cool, man. That's, that's. <sighs> Dina, hang on. We are having technical difficulties. And so I had uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9, and 18, and 10, 11, 12, 15, another 13. 30, 30 of these comparison pictures uh, with appropriate headlines, funny headlines, like uh, find the fuel pull in Unit 4 and win a case of pop. <laughs> That would have been pretty cool, you ought to ask me. Okay. Yeah, it's the stretch, the stretch bolts in that picture. I had it all broken down in the 30 double frames for everybody. And I was going to talk about how that's not, they're not stretched, they're actually not connected. They're in the wrong place. That lid is in the wrong spot. The lid is in the wrong spot. Let me show you, maybe get lucky but uh, you had the, all of the that's a Taurus right that got banged around inside the building so it bounced around flipped around and then yeah, lost now lost the game all together now so they bounced around that thing that lid did and then it landed there uh, but it's not it's not Everything was gone. That's unit four. It's all. It was all gone, and we got that from the emails. You'll find links below the videos at Beautiful Girl by Dana to millions of emails 
Uh, but all of the number four inventory was lost within a few days. Buddy 18, it was all gone of March. That sounds like a sick, sick, sick car. Wow. It's kind of rough. Uh, so, that'll go away, I guess, in a little tiny bit or not. That's really bad. Let me see if I can bring up some more of these pictures. If not, let's jump right back into Unit 4 a little bit more. Let's talk about Unit 4. Look how bad that is. Hang on, I'm going to close that door. That's terrible. Let's see. That's terrible. Anyway, let's keep going. He'll take off, I'm sure. I'll go and throw a rock at him. Actually, I couldn't throw a rock if I wanted to. Inside, it looks like that. So inside of this building, and that building, it looks like that. It looks like that. These are all official pictures. Right, they tore everything off the building. Come on, buddy. That's what I mean, right? It's, Doing these live streams is difficult. So these are all official pictures that they rolled out. Look at that. It's inside of something that don't exist. It don't exist. There's nothing there. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. Oh, it's all gone. There's no way. Holy crap, that's loud on the headphones. I don't know what it's like on your end. These are homeless, they're dead a long time ago. Anybody who gets this close dies. You die two, three, four weeks later. You gotta realize these buildings detonated. They caught fire, they blew up, they melted down. This was an extraordinary event. This was a nine point magnitude. It shook the country for nine minutes, it's a thousand times worse in Haiti, it was 7,000 times worse than Christchurch. This earthquake was felt in Florida 30 minutes later, and that the tsunami ran through the country at 600 miles an hour, ripped up 400 miles of the coastline. 400 miles people died along the coastline. And that they admit to three reactors melting, but 400 kilometers of the coastline had 14 or 15 reactors that were completely buried in water. That we don't know, no one knows because no one was there because you got to realize 20,000 people died. But this was Unit 1, this is um, thousands of Chernobyls, thousands and thousands and thousands of Chernobyls. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days, this thing didn't stop. And we have the documentation that it's all gone. Same thing with Unit 2. You know, two stayed intact, but it's lost its entire inventory. Caught fire, blew up, caught fire, blew up. The tsunami ran through it. Everything around it was covered in massive debris. There was no way to get power back in to those buildings. Sorry. Here's a better picture. 400 miles of the coastline looked like that. But there was all the reactors looked like that. None of them are going to look like that. Look at a building, look at a reactor. It's so important that you understand that law. And I can't show you that one, that 30 pictures. I can show you everything else in the same uh, categories. But I can't show you those double frame pictures tonight. And I'm completely worn out and completely frazzled completely just utterly barbarized by what has been done to me since I came off the ocean. I've been dragged into court five times and I've been smeared in the mainstream media, accused of death threats, even after doing interviews where they knew it was criminal harassment and nuclear pukes that didn't have a leg to stand on. We had judges making precedences saying that a banana and a potato chip and walking in the sunshine is equal to nuclear waste, and that's the science. Dana should shut your pie hole, and you can't use it. 
You can't use the one hour video of your charge, which you can only use an eight second sound bite. Turn around and ask the prosecutor after all of this and more what I was charged with. An utter betrayal in every sense of the word. Utterly unbelievable betrayal in the system. It has not only turned its back on us, it has stabbed us in the back and continues to stab us in the back. The one refuge we should be able to go to and put some faith in the justice system and the role of the dictator, prosecutor, and the judge who don't even know what I'm charged with and makes precedences claiming that innocuous, harmless, you know, bananas and potato chips, wagon and sunshine are good for you in, in some senses. Compared to man made radiation, it's a trillion to one. There is no comparison. You can put two million atoms, man-made atoms, on the head of a needle, you can't see it. But that's two million cancers. But cancer shows up way down the road. There's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies will show up before the cancer. Alzheimer's, dementia, autism passed on to your children. There's diabetes. There's heart, liver, lung, respiratory, pituitary, gland problems. There's 1,800 serious issues that manifest into other issues and then cancer shows up and you have no way of fighting it. You have no resistance left. Your, your defenses have been destroyed. When you get radiation in your body, your body saturates itself and those areas with white blood cells and displaces the oxygen in your blood. And so you become lazy and lethargic and you have headaches and you feel weak and you don't feel like visiting or doing dishes or cleaning up. And so oxygen it plays such a vital role, but when the radiation, you're bioaccumulating it, everything you eat, all day long, everywhere you go, every time you get a shower, every time you drink water, every time you eat something, it's transferred off objects all the time, everything is contaminated. And so the system is is determined that you don't know the difference, that you think it's like a banana, that you think it's like a potato chip, and that you think it's like getting on an airplane, or you think it's like a dental x-ray or chest x-ray. When you ingested it, because that's, there's so much of it, it's one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter. Take a meter, divide it by a million. Divide one of those by ten thousand. And you can get 7,000 in a drinking water here in Canada, man-made. This is all man-made. Natural stuff is okay. Natural stuff don't matter. Natural stuff is irrelevant. Natural stuff is not going to hurt you. You're, you're acclimated to natural radiation, 162 natural ones, like potassium and rubidium and just stupid harmless, everyday, innocuous. It's just part of the food chain, part of everything you touch, everything you wear. It's not harm, it's not going to mutate a fruit fly. But that's how they confuse you for 70 years and you just keep coming out and yelling it over and over and everywhere and all the media because they own the media. This is your drinking water for North America, for Canada. Artificial, look at it. Man-made, 7,000 becquels, natural, but this is the maximum acceptable concentrations. Well, for natural stuff, we don't want more than 0 0.02. So by proxy, they're saying 7,000 must be good for you. If 0 0.02 milligrams of uranium, which is not even becquels because it's not refined, it hasn't gone to a chain reaction per se, it doesn't work that way with uranium until you put it through a chain reaction. Lead is 0.2 becquels. Radium, 0.5. But that only lasts one ten thousandth of a thousandth of a second. The tritium lasts 120 years. The strontium lasts 300 years. The iodine, 131, there was 31 times more iodine, 129, with a 15 million year half-life. 31 times more. There was 200 and 20, 220 becquels in a liter of rainwater in Canada after Fukushima. 
of iodine-129. That's atomic decays every second. Every second in the liter is 220 million atomic decays. The stuff that is in your body when you eat it, or consume it, or drink it, or come into contact with it in that context, your body off-gasses, it equalizes. It's called homeostasis. Your body can't hold any more natural. But man-made, it accumulates it. It sequesters in your organs, in your muscles, in your bones, in your pelvis. And it creates mutated stem cells and mutated blood cells, white blood cells. And that's why you see the vicious leukemias and cancers. You have right now in New York, from Indian Point, a, a surge in cancers. Because this leak in, in Indian Point has been going on for a very long time. And now that they actually come out with the numbers, not like they didn't know the numbers existed. It's just now someone found it and broke the news. They kept their head away from you. That's why they tell you it's like a banana and a potato chip and walking in the sunshine. Because they bought into that. Because they hate your guts. They hate everybody around them. They're too cowardly to pick up the knife and kill you with a knife or a gun. They'd rather do it with a stroke of pen or coming out and lying to you and pretending that they're your friends or, or that even like knowing these people, they will still tell you the same lie. Thunderfoot will tell you that same lie. A nuclear scientist that you see in the media is the most disgusting thing imaginable. The most demented and twisted and heartless and soulless and spineless thing imaginable. That if you were to raise your hand with them, they would cringe. That they have no backbone, they are spineless, they are like worms. They know that. They, ha they, have no, they don't have the ability to come up and strike somebody. And they don't have the ability to go out and murder somebody in real life. They want to. They fantasize it, no doubt, all the time. They went and become a nuclear scientist or a climate scientist. And then they come out and lie to you and tell you it's harmless. Go ahead and eat it. That the, the food in the Pacific is okay to eat because it's like a banana or potato chip or water in sunshine. That's murder. They, if, you do, if you listen to them, then you need to go file a complaint in court against them. You need to file criminal charges against them for murder. And because you consumed it, that's guaranteed you ate man-made radiation. Because you went along with it. It's the same thing with Health Canada telling you that it's okay. That's murder. That's 100% murder. We have the death of the Pacific. Let me, let me be very clear. It's the death of the Pacific. You go up to the nuclear proctologist and you can start to sort it out. But that's the death of the Pacific. It's unimaginable that we have killed that t Pacific Ocean with four buildings. With four buildings? And 30 million bags, one ton bags, 30 million. That's enough one ton, if you put a bag in each one ton truck, six foot by six foot, one ton bags, that only last, designed to last for a couple of years at best. 30 million of trucks will circle the planet five times. You can block up the highway right around the planet with five rows of traffic. From four buildings that are 10 stories each. So it's 40 story building produced more, like Empire State Buildings weighs 350,000 tons. That's 85. Empire State Buildings, you could build from the material that came out of a 40 story building. And the Empire State Buildings are over 100 stories high. And so the system is so, is so dead on its feet. It's just flogging it now to try to keep another check coming in for another couple of years. They're going to loot that system. They're going to load it and they're going to tell you we got to go into space. we got to go to space because we destroyed the planet. But they're not going to tell you how we destroyed the planet or that they're, they're the ones that engineered it and that you can't go into space and that these people are... Del devil worshippers. They worship Satan in every sense of the word. And that all of them will propagate a GMO. All of these bloggers like Atomic Insight, uh, like James Conkra, uh, like, like all the big names out there, they, they promote GMO at their site. And GMO, if you're not familiar with that, genetically modified organisms, 90-something percent of your supermarkets is genetically modified food. Go buy a pizza at a supermarket in the organic section. You can find them there and it'll say like 70% organic. What does that mean though? Because they don't tell you anything else. 
Well, it means the other 30% is GMO, genetically modified organisms. This is, they've done Mothers Against, um, I can't remember, Mothers Against, Mothers for America hired uh, independent researchers to study GMO corn. And they found that the carbon, the calcium, the magnesium, the iron, the cobalt, uh, all the, the nutrients were engineered down to tiny, tiny, tiny parts per million. To the point where you would have to eat 428 GMO corn on the cob, and they look beautiful, great big, wonderful looking, shiny, perfect, not a speck of, of rot on it or insects to it. They engineered it right into the DNA. But you have to eat 428 to get the same amount of calcium you would get from a single organic corn on the cob. That's shocking. They took the nutrients and the micro and the macro elements out of it and engineered toxins and deoxins and glossophates and formaldehydes that stop you from uptaking nutrients. From uptaking because you don't need a big meal of organic food. You only need a small meal, which is a very tiny meal of organic food. And there's enough energy there to run you for days at a time. But or if you eat GMO, you're, you're, it's like eating cardboard with glue and the nutrients is in the glue somewhere because the cardboard got nothing. But that's what GMO is. If it looks perfect, don't buy it. If it doesn't go moldy, don't buy it. Margarine, like soft margarines, don't buy that, whatever you do. And you'll cut right back on your butter right away because the other butter satisfies you instantly and has energy. And 90-something percent of our supermarkets, and they're, and they're fighting the legislation that they got to say it's, now you got to label 3,000 ingredients, but they won't label GMO. And they say, once again, the science is settled. Yeah, it's settled, I right? That third generation mice were down to one child, you know. Instead of having big litters, they were down to one. So the fourth generation had none. And you'll see that playing out in the humans right now, don't you? You see population dropping all around the planet. But that's from Fukushima. That's from eating anything from the Pacific or the Pacific coastline. That's from being on the Pacific or the Pacific coastline. And that... We know how salt is liberated from the ocean. Insects are acclimated to more salt in their diet up to 200 miles inland. And that's studies pre-Fukushima about salt. But we know that radionuclides are liberated from the ocean through that same vector. And so you suspect not only that, wherever the Rocky Mountains are, the big clouds, every day tens of thousands of miles of clouds form from the ocean liberating the isotopes, the thousands of isotopes, the buckyballs, the sulfur peroxide, hydrogen buckyballs created from spraying the salt water on the reactors at these enormous temperatures of six, seven, eight, nine thousand degree Fahrenheit temperatures. And that rocks are atomized and aerosol and ionized and radiated at 2,000, 2,200. These reactors, that's why you have the China syndrome. That's why Chernobyl was so deadly consumed all those rocks and rebar and steel and cement and it was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs but yet it was just one single building, right? It was a 30% meltdown. It was one third size, the size of any of the reactors in Japan. It looks like we're coming up to our hour. Hi everyone. Strontium Milks, Jan Brooks, Purple Jim. <laughs> I picked a good time to look over, did I, Jan? Jan's got YouTube's Miss Milky the Clown and Miss Milky the Clown one. And I'm thirst, and we can't share. Normally I can bring up right here the laptop, the external laptop is plugged in through HDMI into the software, and I can always bring it up. And Shani can Elaine says she buys only moldy veggies, right? And so you chop that out. It's as simple as that. Mold is actually good for you. You chop it out, and like if you eat a little bit of it, you get some cross contamination. It's still okay. It's not going to kill you. It's good for you. That's how Mother Nature designed it, right? It's built right into your veggies. Uh, but that's the way it always has been. 
the minute we went into preservatives, we changed our diets dramatically. But the minute we went into GMO, we wrecked our body and our DNA and our chromosome. And that the only way to repair some of that damage is with organic. But organic, you see, Dan, it costs so much more. Yeah, but you eat so much less. You have so much more energy. You have an obligation and uh, to this planet and not to consume and poop and pee out that stuff. Not to buy into that stuff. Not not to make them to give them any money. To find another way. That's your obligation. See, you're like once you understand the significance of how bad this stuff you you you, you can still have a life, but you got to do it. Find another way to do things. This is not something you go along to get along. This is something that you start doing regularly causes you to liquidate your assets in the future. From the many, 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 many autoimmune deficiencies associated with that. Hugs for Candace, Strontium. Yeah, thank you, Shanikin. Same here, I miss you folks. You know, the Rattle Shark, Pam, Jan, Gabriel, Joseph, Ain't Gestures. And everybody else, hugs for everybody. It was such a rough, tough day. Couple of days, couple of months. <laughs> I'm getting my brain back together. We threw those gigs and now you gotta realize I'm just <laughs> click, say stuff and then click. Okay, well, I hope it works out when we stream that stuff because there's nothing pre-written. <laughs> it's, it's a live stream. It is what it is. Hugs for everybody and we'll catch you all soon. We got a 24-hour live stream coming up on March 11th. It starts on the 10th at 12 midnight here in Pacific Standard Time, British Columbia time. And it's going to be fun. We're going to bring in all kinds of clips and all kinds of weird fun stuff. And we'll make it through. It's something worthy. It's something that needs to be done. And it carries a strong message that hopefully I'll be able to utilize my buffers. You stop hacking me. We'll figure that out. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. And, and everybody else. It's the traces you hear about, if you look back through all the studies, through Elsifer, Springer, and Wiley, the three biggest publishers, they got 20,000 academic journals. You'll find that that's all they ever talk about. Is uh, Sometimes they talk about americium and neptunium. Uh, Dr. Raymond Gill, many studies that I've covered many times from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico. Now he used plutonium and americium on beagle dogs and beagle puppies for 35 years. Uh, and all the animals died in three to five years from vicious cancers, all of them. And we're talking about thousands and thousands, but he's just one of thousands and thousands and thousands. Um, of people doing studies with radiation on animals and killing them. They all die. Every animal dies. Vicious cancers. They know how to create it, but they don't know how to stop it. Man-made radiation has been studied more, and there's thousands and thousands of them, than natural, and there's 162 emitters. There's 5,500 or whatever elements, but there's 162 at what we consider emitters that are harmless, that are normal, that everything is made up of. I can see him out there now trying to get people at the airport. Come on back, man. We'll give you a raise. You only got to work outside the fence and focus him. Focus him up. Focus him up. Focus him up. I got to really learn to look at what I'm producing before I, produce, before I show it off to people. Because <laughs> you kind of get a little squirrely sometimes, dear Mr. D. But that's the way it is when you're trying to put together a show. And I had all that work done tonight. It's not going to show up. And I don't think that that's right. That they got me censored. They've killed nine computers in a year and a half period. How many computers do you have die in a one and a half year? I got arrested when I come on shore after five expeditions. Think about that one. I've done five expeditions and, and I just showed you the documentation in, in this little dinky and I knew I'd come back every day and I went right through the winter, five months without coming home. I didn't come home t till the trip 
till I finally gave it up after five expeditions. But that's when I scoured the entire coastline, when I was satisfied that I left nothing uh, uh, worthy unturned, that I had cruised through all the fjords and the inlets and in this picture. If you do, you're a bad person, and they're not lawyers. Uh, look at the RT, pumped out a beautiful, incredibly shiny, beautiful, wonderful. And by the way, thank you, Mr. Frill, out there, who works so hard. And I don't really say hi to her ever. I just remembered that time better. Because if anybody deserves a big, big pat on the back, it's Miss Frill Mary, who's relentlessly working in the background for the better and intelligently dissecting narratives with eloquence. And it's highly appreciated. Japan begins removal of fuel rods. <laughs> What, why did they lie? Why didn't they check? Why didn't they show us the comparison pictures like I'm doing? Why does nobody do that? This is TEPCO's official pictures. The official pictures. And see the little picture in the middle? The green one. But look at the pictures that I put there of the dead nations. Think about what they're saying to you. Think about the implications of what they're saying to you and what many people have come out and told you and all the media is like I'm showing you with no counter arguments with no counter arguments to any of these people look at the two buildings look at a big lie and the pictures they showed everybody to put you into a dream state to cause you not to even consider the things I'm saying because they can't tell the truth they're incapable of telling the truth they don't they don't have that. That is not part of what they do. Their their job is to fabricate it. The decommissioning work taking in place unit here four. in Rio. I cut that one off. Everybody knows it's Unit Four. Played the, the same video many times. Think about all these people that work at a nuclear power plant, like five thousand people. But what do they do when they have an accident? To push the burning fuel through uh, into the back of the reactor. But the heat had melted the cartridges, so they'd become stuck inside the core. They were forced to use scaffolding poles they'd found nearby to try and push the cartridges out. Radiation was so intense they could only work a few hours. That's they the were fire fighters. firefighters. There's 5,000 people on the site. Uh, from the factory had turned up looking for volunteers. Uh, and they brought a bus and they decided the best way to get the volunteers was to go to the cinema and uh, and volunteer the back two rows uh, at the uh, at the show to go into the factory to uh, as it turned out to uh, help push the fuel rods out of the should look like that anywhere in British Columbia should look like that but these pictures are all from the same spot and now it looks like this and like that and like this and the whole uh, Louise Narrows looks like that. And this is a very spiritual place for the natives in British Columbia. No longer healthy, but the whole coastline is like this. Now the significance of that is there should be 5,600 species on that coastline. Like that. And let me find you some more vibrant types of life. Like that. You should, everywhere you go, you got to be careful where you're walking. You, you know, it's so easy to tread on animals. And these are all from the same spot, but all of the coastline would look like that. But the before and after, these are the pictures we took on the Expedition for Life, 260 days. And Jan Brooks has put out, Miss Milky Clown 1, has put out Lonnie's interview we done yesterday. And uh, that's a lot of work. It shows you the skill that lady has and the patience and the dedication and the fortitude to be able to put together a video like she done um, with just an audio. And it was a great audio. Um, I'm glad she done it. And so I went and listened to it to see how I done, how it came out on the phone, criticized myself a lot, see what I got to change, learn, if I made any mistakes, and blah, blah, blah. And even when I was talking about drinking a glass of water with radiation in it, Jan had snipped out a chunk where I'm drinking a glass of water. Very clever girl. 
Oh, good for you, Jan. That's Miss Melky the Clown one on YouTube. And she's a tireless, relentless activist who uh, got a head on her shoulder. And so the Sherman's would normally look like that. You know, and so, but this, these, um, these giant sea plume uh, sea anemones are one of 78 species. They come in different colors. And they, they're about three foot at maturity. And you can get up to 500 in a square meter. And then if you take one of those and chop it up into 50 pieces, that'll be 50 more sea anemones. That'll be in different colors. Um, now there's 78 species of sea anemones. And then the sea urchins are the most dominant that you would see up there. But now everything is naked, that whole coastline. Particularly, this is all Louise Narrows, but we got the documentation up at the nuclear proctologist. Not that I'll be able to bring that up tonight. This is heartbreaking. I got all that work done, and I can't access, I can't even, I just don't get it. I don't get it. They kick them loose all the time. If anybody says got a nosebleed, or got this or got that, any kind of symptoms, kick them loose. Come pick your check up in a couple of weeks. Because <laughs> you ain't, you ain't making it. You're going around, you're homeless and destitute or an immigrant who don't speak the language. Everywhere you pee and poo, you're leaving dirty bombs. Till you day you die. Have we got anything giggly left in that dinner? Chernobyl, compared to unit four. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of like a pimple. <laughs> it's like, it's like a cigarette butt on the side of the road. Environmentally <laughs> compared to Fukushima. Fukushima's <laughs> killed the Pacific Ocean for right. goodness sakes. Yeah. This is an extinction event. Dana gave right. it the program, but sorry, man. Jesus, I can't get everything. You know, I'm blue, blue, blue. Can't even get my buffers to work. Can't get them to change. I had that wicked story to tell. And look, I get that nonsense every time. But I can get the other buffers to, to work. I just can't get the ones with all the pictures of Unit 4. How interesting is that? Are these sent for me in real time? Well, I mean, you're talking about a multi-trillion dollar a year business. You're talking about the military. You're talking about a million corporations. You're talking about the death of the Pacific Ocean and who done it and how they done it, and how they tricked you and deceived you, and how they just fell from grace, and how even their own friends and families and loved ones won't trust them, will, you know, what are we going to do with these people? we got to hide them from the population, because the population is going to want to string them up. We can't blame them. It's a genocide that they just carried out, right? Ecocide and a genocide. It's, it's it's burning down to the ground is what they got done to us. And when the zombies come looking, I can assure you the Amber Alert is not gonna help them. There is no helping these critters. And if I bring up the laptop, I get a blank screen. Audio works through though. That's twisted. And there's no reason they hacked me tonight when I finally plugged in. I only plug into the internet just for a go live. I do everything else with my laptop. I only use this computer software setup because it's so freaking expensive for this one thing only. Just to go live and then it gets unplugged from the internet. <coughs> that coastline. Like that. And let me find you some more vibrant types of life. Like that. You should, everywhere you go, you got to be careful where you walk in. You, you know, it's so easy to tread on animals. And these are all from the same spot, but all of the coastline would look like that. But the before and after, these are the pictures we took on the expedition for life. 260 days. And Jan Brooks has put out Miss Milky Clown one has put out Lonnie's interview we done yesterday, and uh, that's a lot of work. It shows you the skill that lady has, and the patience, and the dedication and the fortitude. 
to be able to put together a video like she done um, with just an audio and it was a great audio um, I'm glad she done it and so I went and listened to it to see how I done how it came out on the phone criticize myself a lot see what I got to change learn if I made any mistakes and blah 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 and even when I was talking about drinking a glass of water with radiation and Jan had snipped out a chunk where I'm drinking a glass of water very clever girl Hugs for you, Jan. And that's Miss Melky the Clown one on YouTube. And she's a tireless, relentless activist who uh, got a head on her shoulder. And so the Charlottes would normally look like that. You know, and so, but this, these, um, these giant sea plume uh, sea anemones are one of 78 species. They come in different colors. And they, they're about three foot at maturity. And you can get up to 500 in a square meter. And then if you take one of those and chop it up into 50 pieces, that'll be 50 more sea anemones. That'll be in different colors. Um, now there's 78 species of sea anemones. And then the sea urchins are the most dominant that you would see up there. But now everything is naked, that whole coastline. Particularly, this is all Louise Narrows, but we got the documentation up at the nuclear proctologist. Not that I'll be able to bring that up tonight. This is heartbreaking. I got all that work done, and I can't access, I can't even, I just don't get it. I don't get it. But we can come up and try something else out of curiosity and see if it works. Like this was working before I went live stream, like when I'd done it all uh, last night. That was all like quick as quick as you can um, quick as you can click. And so there's the radiation. We're going to change the patterns, right? So look, they're changing. See that? Yeah, 25. But that only lasts one ten thousandth of a thousandth of a second. The tritium lasts 120 years. The strontium lasts 300 years. The iodine 131, there was 31 times more iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life. 31 times more. There was 220. 220 Beckwells in a liter of rainwater in Canada after Fukushima of iodine 129. That's atomic decays every second. Every second in the liter is 220 million atomic decays. The stuff that is in your body when you eat it or consume it or drink it or come into contact with it in that context, your body off gases, it equalizes. It's called homeostasis. Your body can't hold any more natural. But man-made, it accumulates it. It sequesters in your organs, in your muscles, in your bones, in your pelvis. And it creates mutated stem cells, and mutated blood cells, white blood cells. And that's why you see the vicious leukemias and cancers. You have right now in New York from Indian Point a surge in cancers. Because this leak in, in Indian Point has been going on for a very long time. And now that they actually come out with the numbers, not like they didn't know the numbers existed. It's just now someone found it and broke the news. They kept their head away from you. That's why they tell you it's like a banana and a potato chip and walking in the sunshine. Because they bought into that. Because they hate your guts. They hate everybody around them. They're too cowardly to pick up the knife and kill you with a knife or a gun. They'd rather do it with a stroke of pen or coming out and lying to you and pretending that they're your friends or, your, or that. Even like knowing these people, they will still tell you the same lie. Thunderfoot will tell you that same lie. A nuclear scientist that you see in the media is the most disgusting thing imaginable. The most demented and twisted and heartless and soulless and spineless thing imaginable. That if you were to raise your hand with them, they would cringe. That they have no backbone. They are spineless. They are like worms. They know that. They, ha they, have no, they don't have the ability to come up and strike somebody. And they don't have the ability to go out and murder somebody in real life. They want to. They fantasize it, no doubt, all the time. They went and become a nuclear scientist or a climate scientist. And then they come out and lie to you and tell you it's harmless. Go ahead and eat it. That the, the food in the Pacific is okay to eat. Because it's like a banana or potato chip or wagon in sunshine. That's murder. 
They, if you do, if you listen to them, then you need to go file a complaint in court against them. You need to file criminal charges against them for murder. And because you consumed it, that's guaranteed you ate man-made radiation. Because you, and I don't know what's going on. I've done all that work and I can't bring up. Everything's working fine until I go live. So I guess the anniversary's coming up. They're hacking away at us. And if they hack this one, that's a stupid amount of money gone down the drain. And so this computer only gets used for live streams only. This software is very expensive. We'll go back to the dealership if we got to get that stuff and hold them accountable one way or another. Well, okay, and so that was working. Just hang out for everybody. It's awkward, I know. But we're going to just try it and see if we can get that to switch gears and come back because we really want to tell that story. So the other ones are working fine. Okay. Okay, in that case, maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. Wasn't supposed, everything should work just fine. It's kind of awkward. No. Okay, maybe we got it that time. Even for official pictures. I guess not. None of these things are going to work for me tonight. <laughs> That's the head. That's the bloody head. I don't know what to say to that. That's like weird old shit. You got a fuel pool inside of a building that don't exist. That probably got nothing to do with it. They're desperate to hide the death of the Pacific Ocean. Death of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, not cool. Well, let's talk about that then. So, I'll have to do an independent video and stick it out on Unit 4. I guess they're not going to let me do it tonight. We've never had an issue with the computer. We did do an update with live stream, but before I plugged into the internet, I was having problems with both computers. Can't bring in the extra com uh, laptop. It's weird stuff. That's the way it works. Uh, we're not doing the course um, for another couple of days. I'm going to do it at home. And um, it's just better to do it that way. As sea stars die, no worries about urchins. And so they they done 200 miles of the coastline, and they found the urchins were in uh, just a few of them to be found. Look at that. It's inside of something that don't exist. It don't exist. There's nothing there. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. Oh, it's all gone. There's no way. Holy crap, that's loud on the headphones. I don't know what it's like on your end. These are homeless. They're dead. A long time ago. Anybody gets this close dies. You die two, three, four weeks later. You got to realize these buildings detonated. They caught fire, they blew up, they melted down. This was an extraordinary event. This was a nine point magnitude. It shook the country for nine minutes. It's a thousand times worse than Haiti. It was 7,000 times worse than Christchurch. This earthquake was felt in Florida 30 minutes later and that the tsunami ran through the country at 600 miles an hour, ripped up 400 miles of the coastline. 400 miles people died along the coastline. And that they admit to three reactors melting, but 400 kilometers of the coastline had 14 or 15 reactors that were completely buried in water. That we don't know, no one knows because no one was there because you got to realize 20,000 people died. But this was Unit 1, this is um, thousands of Chernobyls, thousands and thousands and thousands of Chernobyls. 
Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. This thing didn't stop. And we have the documentation that it's all gone. Same thing with Unit 2. Unit mm -hmm. 2 stayed intact, but it's lost its entire inventory. Cough fire blew up. Cough fire blew up. The tsunami ran through it. Everything around it was covered in massive debris. There was no way to get power back in to those buildings. Sorry. Here's a better picture. 400 miles of the coastline looked like that. But there was all the reactors look like that. None of them are going to look like that. Look at a building. Look at a reactor. It's so important that you understand that law. And I can't show you that one, that 30 pictures. I can show you everything else in the same uh, categories. But I can't show you those double frame pictures tonight. And... I'm completely worn out and completely frazzled, I'm completely, just utterly barbarized by what has been done to me since I came off the ocean. I've been dragged into court five times and I've been smeared in the mainstream media. I told everybody to put you into a dream state to cause you not to even consider the things I'm saying because they can't tell the truth. They're incapable of telling the truth. They don't. They don't have that. That is not part of what they do. Their, their job is to fabricate it. The decommissioning work taking in place unit here four. in Rio. I cut that one off. Everybody knows it's Unit 4. I played the, the same video many times. Think about all these people that work at a nuclear power plant. Like 5,000 people. But what do they do when they have an accident? To push the burning fuel through uh, into the back of the reactor. But the heat had melted the cartridges, so they'd become stuck inside the core. They were forced to use scaffolding poles they'd found nearby to try and push the cartridges out. Radiation was so intense they could only work a few hours. That's they the were fire fighters. firefighters. There's 5,000 people on the site. Uh, from the factory had turned up looking for volunteers. Uh, and they'd brought a bus and they decided the best way to get the volunteers was to go to the cinema and uh, and volunteer the back two rows uh, at the uh, at the show to go into the factory to uh, as it turned out to uh, help push the fuel rods out of the uh, out of the reactor. My goodness! So they kidnap people to push the rods. They pushed the rods out of the reactor. And they never went and got the 5,000 employees who works at the plant getting double top wages and every benefit on the planet. No. Because they might get cancer or die. they got to pay out the insurance. They went and kidnapped your friends and your families and your loved ones from the back two rows of a theater. Have you ever sat in the back two rows of a theater? Have your children, have your friends or your families or your loved ones ever sat in the two back rows of a theater. And rather than use the nuclear employees who bought into this and says it's harmless, it's like a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine for 70 years, mocking you, ridiculing you, treating you with disrespect and everybody around in order to keep their job because they couldn't get a job on a garbage truck, not that that's a bad job, it's just they couldn't get that job. They would apply for it, trust me. And I'm not saying it's a bad job, somebody has to do it. And they make decent money at it, and it's no worse than working in all kinds of other factories, trust me. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, let's try this and see if this one will work for us. So this one's not going to work for us. Looks like I got hacked. Two computers. This one wouldn't even do high quality earlier tonight. Let's keep going. Well, that's pretty awkward. Maybe if I zoom out a bit. And so let's go another route on Unit 4. Because that's pretty weird. Unit 4. Now have a look at this building. And have a look at the fool's pool. 
Now, how can you get that inside of this uh, destroyed building? Is anybody able to bring me any kind of anything to the table over this one? So you got a destroyed building, destroyed, completely destroyed all the way to the ground. But the media has told us this. Now, the media told you that to distract you from the three full meltdowns, the three 100% meltdowns reactors. And I don't know what's going on. I've done all that work and I can't bring up. Everything's working fine until I go live. So I guess the anniversary is coming up. They're hacking away at us. And if they hack this one, that's a stupid amount of money gone down the drain and so this computer only gets used for live streams only this software is very expensive we'll go back to the dealership if we got to with that stuff and hold them accountable one way or another well, okay and so that was working just hang out for everybody it's awkward I know but we're gonna just try it and see if we can get that to switch gears and come back because we really want to tell that story so the other ones are working fine. Okay. Okay, in that case, maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. Wasn't supposed, everything should work just fine. It's kinda awkward. No. Okay, maybe we got it that time. Unit four official pictures. I guess not. None of these things are going to work for me tonight. <laughs> That's the head. That's the bloody head. I don't know what to say to that. That's like weird old shit. You got a fuel pull, so this computer only gets used for live streams only. This software is very expensive. We'll go back to the dealership if we got to with that stuff. And hold them accountable one way or another. Well, okay, and so that was working. Just hang out for everybody. It's awkward, I know. But we're going to just try it and see if we can get that to switch gears and come back because we really want to tell that story. So the other ones are working fine. Okay. Okay, in that case, maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. Wasn't supposed, everything should work just fine. It's kinda awkward. No. Okay, maybe we got it that time. Unit four official pictures. I guess not. None of these things are going to work for me tonight. <laughs> That's the head. That's the bloody head. I don't know what to say to that. That's like weird old shit. You got a fuel pull inside of a building that don't exist. That probably got nothing to do with it. They're desperate to hide the death of the Pacific Ocean. Death of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, not cool. Let's talk about that then. So, I'll have to do an independent video and stick it out on Unit 4. I guess they're not going to let me do it tonight. We've never had an issue with the computer. We did do an update with live stream, but before I plugged into the internet, I was having problems with both computers. Can't bring in the extra com uh, laptop. It's weird stuff. That's the way it works. Uh, we're not doing the course um, for another couple of days. I'm gonna do it at home. And um, it's just better to do it that way. As C stars die, no worries about urchins. And so they they done 200 miles of the coastline, and they found the urchins were 
in uh, just a few of them to be found at the high tide, low tide zones. And so what we done, then in the hounds of Fukushima, was we done 15,000 miles of the coastline. All those arrows of representations is to 260 days worth of work there. Temperatures are six, seven, eight, nine thousand degree Fahrenheit temperatures. And that rocks are atomized and aerosol and ionized and radiated at 2,000, 2,200. These reactors, that's why you have the China syndrome. That's why Chernobyl was so deadly. It consumed all those rocks and rebar and steel and cement and it was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. But yet it was just one single building, right? It was a 30% meltdown. It was one third size, the size of any of the reactors in Japan. It looks like we're coming up to our hour. Hi everyone. Strontium Milks, Jan Brooks, Purple Jim. <laughs> I picked a good time to look over, did I, Jan? Jan's got YouTube's Miss Milky the Clown and Miss Milky the Clown one. And Thirst, and we can't share. Normally I can bring up right here the laptop, the external laptop is plugged in through HDMI into the software and I can always bring it up and Shani can Elaine says she buys only moldy veggies right and so you chop that out it's as simple as that mold is actually good for you you chop it out and like if you eat a little bit of it you get some cross contamination still okay it's not gonna kill you it's good for you that's how mother nature designed it right is built right into your veggies uh, but that's the way it always has been the minute we went into preservatives, we changed our diets dramatically. But the minute we went into GMO, we wrecked our body and our DNA and our chromosome. And that the only way to repair some of that damage is with organic. But organic, you say, Dan, it costs so much more. Yeah, but you eat so much less. You have so much more energy. You have an obligation and, uh, to this planet not to consume and poop and pee out that stuff not to buy into that stuff, not not to make them, to give them any money, to find another way. That's your obligation, see? You're, like, once you understand the significance of how bad this stuff, you, 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 you can still have a life, but you gotta do it, find another way to do things. This is not something you go along to get along. This is something that you start doing regularly, causes you to liquidate your assets in the future. From the many, 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 many autoimmune deficiencies, associated with that. Hugs for Candace, Strontium. Yeah, thank you, Shanikin. Same here, I miss you folks, you know, the Rattle Shark, Pam, Jan, Gabriel, Joseph, Ain't Gestures, and everybody else. Hugs for everybody. It was such a rough, tough day. Couple of days, couple of months. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my brain back together. We through those gigs and I you gotta realize I'm <laughs> day and I went right through the winter. Five months without coming home. I didn't come home t till the trip till I finally gave it up after five expeditions. But that's when I scoured the entire coastline. When I was satisfied that I left nothing uh, uh, worthy unturned. That I had cruised through all the fjords and the inlets and the twenty six thousand islands doing bird species counts and we can bring up some of that hopefully we're going to bring those block down us tonight shocking and so missing species were the phytoplankton the krill the anchovies they're gone that's gone we won't see any more die-offs in the pacific canadian coastline because there's nothing left but the anchovies the sardines the squid the herring the salmon have all failed now three years hardcore we have no snow in the mountains of British Columbia anymore. And we have no oxygen in the bases of food, the oxygen, the carbon sequestering chains are all gone. And that Chernobyl lasted 10 days. Now, don't get me wrong, if you were to expose, like that sarcophagus they got over, it, that's not really stopping anything from escaping. It's not. Uh, the building is full of big cracks and big holes and they're trying to put a new one over it, right? Why? Well, because this thing is extremely dangerous. And why are they ignoring it? Why did Harvard and Yale and Berkeley and Stanford and Oxford and MIT and everybody else go 
to Fuku uh, Chernobyl, but yet none of them went to Fukushima. How come they didn't go to Fukushima? Why is it only the homeless and the destitute and the people who don't speak the language uh, in there? Why ain't Harvard and Yale and everybody else? You know, why does Seth Dorn, Seth Dorn, he says he's inside the building above him. See all that around him? That's what he says it looks like on the inside. He says inside it looks like that to your left. Not, and not, But look at the real pictures on the right. This machine, this weaponized media, world nuclear news. You should, you know, with a title like that you would hope you could trust their, their story. Look at the picture they showed you, but look at the building that I put there. BBC done the same thing to you. Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant begins fuel rod removal, 18th of November. Keep an eye on that date with those headlines. This is May 2014, November 2013. So outrageous lies. They can't look at a picture knowing it detonated, knowing there's no way that can exist. 